Hi everyone, it's Glenn with Expulsion Science, and today we're gonna stand on some paper cups. What do you think's gonna happen? First, let's gather our materials. We need at least 20 cups, paper cups, as you can see, and various shapes of cardboard that you cut out. See, I've got one here for the bottom, one here for the middle, and then the small one right here. So you can cut them like so. Now I'm gonna send it off to my favorite assistant, Brooks, and have him step on some paper cups. Thanks, Glenn. I'm gonna show you what happens when I stand on this paper cup. Oh! It crushed. It crushed. Now let's see if I can do that again, but have it support my weight. Whoa! Whoa! See, I was able to make those tiny little paper cups support the weight of my entire body. How did that happen? Glenn, tell us why. How did he do that? Those cups held up his entire body weight. Now it has to do with the weight distribution on the cup. Now when he put his weight on one cup, that cup was responsible for his whole body weight. But when he distributed it amongst 16 cups, that meant that each cup was responsible for 1 16th of his weight. Pretty cool, huh? Now, weight distribution is an important part of our daily life. It's what allows us to ride in cars, fly in planes, and the list just keeps going on and on. I hope you guys enjoyed our physics demonstration. Check back next time on Expulsion Science.